Hello guys, welcome back to your channel Coding Cafe. My name is Muhammad Ali and in this video we are going to work on comments. Finally. So when a user click on this comment button, we will send him to the comments activity and on that activity we will work in this video tutorial. So let's start and then I will explain everything that what we are going to do further. So first of all, let's create uh, an activity. So click here, click new, activity, empty activity. And the name of our this activity will be comments activity where we will display all user comments. So click finish and let's wait for it. So our new activity is created successfully and we have this activity activity.comments.xml file. So first of all, let's change this constant layout to the relative layout. So yeah, that's it. And now we need a text view field. So drag and drop this text view, put it here. It should be match parent. I mean the layout width and height should be match parent and the height should be wrap content. Sorry for that. So yeah. Now the next thing is to give it to change this text to comments. And this relative layout from all the sides, uh, let's give it the layout margin. From all the sides, it should be 5 dp. And let's go to the text, and this is our text view which we created just now. So let's give it some text size. So the text uh, size for this will be 24 sp. The text style will be bold. Text style should be bold and the color of this will be black which we can give as add the red and write color black this one okay you can see that yeah that's it and now we need a recycler view so let's add a recycler view here so drag and drop recycle view here so this is our recycle view and from all the sides the layout margin for it will be 5 dp and the next thing is we need a uh, input you can say the edit text and a comment button so then we will allow user to add comment so here we need a multi-line text so drag and drop this multi-line text here okay it will not work like that i mean we have just a text view and recycler view okay let's go to the text and we will add from here manually first let's add some properties or you can say some styling to this recycler view so we can say a line parent start and we have already added that which is this one okay so the next thing is an edit text field so we can say here uh, that is edit text match parent wrap content let's give it some id so the id for this will be comment input and now we can add some styling to this align parent bottom to true align parent start to true margin from the right should be 55 dp and the background for it will be the inputs and padding 
from all the sides will be 15 dp and the hint for this will be write a comment here that's it and the input type will be multi text multi text multi line this one so you can see that okay and now the next thing is we need a button so for that we will have to add a, an image button so we can say image button wrap content wrap content let's give it some id and the id for this will be post comment button post comment button and now let's uh, add some styling to this align bottom layout align bottom id so the id it needs will be the comment input which is this one copy this and paste it here after this id so you can see that it moves to the bottom now we have to move this to here so let's do the styling for that so we can say align parent and align parent and to true so you can see that okay here now let's add the source i mean the icon android source before adding this icon or you can say this image button first of all you have to add this icon which is post underscore comment you can see that if i zoom it this icon okay so the link to this icon will be available in the description down below you can simply click on that and download this icon and paste it uh, i mean then copy or paste it inside your drawable folder by this name which is post underscore comment so make sure to do to download this icon and to add it inside your file inside your drawable folder so i will say android source and it is inside the drawable folder so i can say drawable and the name of that icon is post underscore comment you can see that so it looks beautiful so now let's add some padding to this button so the padding from all the sides will be 15 dp that's it you can see that it's look nice so this is our comments activity and we have let's give id to these fields so for the recycler view we will call it as comments underscore list so this will be our comments list and then we have our comment input and then the post comment button so let's go to the comments activity and let's initialize or you can say add these buttons so we can say private image button so the first image button is for the post comment button which is our post comment button so we can say post comment button that's it and the second one is our input so we can set Add a text and let's call it as comment input text comment input text and we have a recycler view so we can say private recycler view let's call it as comments list and now inside our this uh, on create method we are going to access our that field so first of all we have a comment list which is the recycler view so we can say comments list a recycler review find view by id or dot id dot and this is by the name comments list comments list dot set has fixed sized 
to true linear layout manager linear layout manager equals to new linear layout manager and the context will be this linear layout manager dot set reverse layout to true linear layout manager dot set stack from end to true and then we can say comments list dot set linear layout manager to the linear layout manager then we can say comment input comments comment input text yes comment input text equals to edit text find find view by id or dot id dot comments input which is this one and then we have a button which is comment let me check the name of it it is post comment button so you can say post comment button equals to image button find view by id or dot id dot post comment button the id of this button is post comment button so yeah we have initialized these fields we have added successfully now let's go to the main activity and we have to set a click listener on our this image button that is if someone click on this then we will send him to the comments activity so come down here first let's check it if we have initialized this button and it will be inside our static class which is this one public static class post view holder so we have this image button one is for the like post button on which we already worked in the previous video tutorial and we have successfully added the likes functionality to like a post and now we are working on this comment which is this one comment post button and we have cast it also successfully which is in the previous video tutorial if you remembered okay you can see that so now here above after this set like uh, view holder dot m view here we can say view holder dot post comment post button dot set on click listener new on click listener and yeah that's it and now inside this we can for the time saving we are going to copy this intent and we will change it for the comment activity so copy from there and paste it inside this comment post button dot set on click listener so inside here let we have to call it as this is our comments intent so we can call it as comments intent and replace it with this one that's it and we are on the main activity and we are going to send the users to the comments comment activity comments activity and we need this post key on our comments activity so let's pass this post key to the comments activity so then we will run our app that how our layout for the post activity looks like or work okay so we can say private string and let's call it as post key post underscore key and then here at the top we will uh, just retrieve this so we can say post key equals to get intent dot get extras dot get and let's see the name it is by the name post key you can see that so you have to write the same name here 
okay dot to string that's it so in this way we send the post key from the main activity to the comments activity so now uh, let's run our app to see that's how our comments activity layout or design looks so wait for it the gradle build is running now so our app is running now successfully and let's click on this comment button and you can see that this is our comments uh, activity and you can see that everything is working fine so first uh, let's add some background to this activity so come here activity comments.xml and here let's add some background so that it can look more beautiful so it will be by the name man background so you can see that this is the background so now let's run our app so our app is running now successfully let's add, uh, uh, i mean click on this comments button so you can see that now it's look more beautiful than before so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will further work on our this comments activity where we will allow a user to write a comment here and when he click on this post button then we will first store that comment uh, inside the firebase database and then we will retrieve the comments here on our comments activity so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now